guys, it's Kristen from Little Muffin Baby's Nursery and I have had a little bit of time to um, set this up. So I wanted to uh, show you guys what I've done. Um, firstly, the inside cover, I haven't put my personal information because I'm actually going to put in a quote there. Um, and then I just have some old, uh, an old sticker. I don't like the fact that this entry, the first page in here is black and it says Erin Condren Life Planner because it's black and it says Erin Condren Life Planner. I know exactly what I purchased. So I just put some washi tapes and some, um, washi sheet and I just put this sticker that I just had. No particular reason. Um... I actually received, I wasn't paying attention when I did the box opening. This actually started um, on the something of October and I received it on the 26th. Um, so I just left this first page blank. Um, the weeks that have passed, I'm not going to just ride them off or fill in um, what we did on those days um, unless it was something important. I'm just going to use them for other things so they're not completely gone to waste. So what I did was on this side, um, I thought it would be cute for my daughter um, to do a trace of her hand on the month spread of November. I don't usually, I'm not using the month spread for November being it's the end of November now. So um, I just did a trace of her hand and I thought it would be cute to look back at this and see that that's how big her hand was. On this side, I um, have a order tracker um, that I, it's just washi tape and paper um, I have um, digital ones that I haven't printed out yet and this is just I'm not I'm not sure what I'm doing there yet that was an important day so I kept that and this was my Asian week um, as you can see I Asian weeked this was a week where we had Asian every um, night for dinner um, we just had a week so I didn't really this was a few weeks ago. This was the 10th of November. So what I did was I just wrote down the bottom what I failed at and what we had. And I drew little, I don't know what they're called, little, little um, cartoons, I guess, little mini sketches of what they were. And then at the top I just wrote um, some notes about... You know what happened that week and how the kids enjoyed um, Asian Week. Um, this is my spare cover. I just stuck it in there so I didn't lose it. Um, okay, so this is my week this week. Um, I have my ruler in here. I didn't do anything too pretty um, or out of control because I got my planner on the 26th. That's why there's a heart there. But I, um, like, just so I knew when I actually got it. Um, but what I have done is I've put washi on the sides instead of where the note section would be because I had no goals or notes. I don't particularly like setting goals because I find that if I don't do them, I feel really guilty and being a busy mom, I it's unrealistic for me to set goals because I have high anxiety when things don't go the way that I want. So if I were to write goals here and then they didn't get done, I would just be like a mess. I would feel really guilty and my anxiety would just run high. So it's just better for me not to do that. I um, also put some washi around the bottom. Um, this particular week I did, I did, yes, I did break up the week, um, the squares into smaller, like I just washied over the um, titles. However, this uh, washi that I used, as you can see, is um, pink transparent, so you can kind of see through it. Um, maybe next time, you know, if you're pedantic about it, you could white out underneath that, but, you know, I really didn't care that much. Um, so I've got mine as family, work, and to-do, and these are just some, you know, little rubbish laser stickers that I just found that I thought, for argument's sake, for the video, I would just put in there so I could show you. Uh, I didn't think it would be necessary to put it on every single um, square to show you guys, but I did the same thing on this side. Um, on the bottom here, I just have this little um, to-do section. Um, these are stamps that I just stamped on there with some black ink, and then I was bored watching TV last night, so I started doodling inside of them and coloring them in. Um, you can see a smudge here because I did also do one uh, right here, but it did go over the tab. 
because I wasn't paying attention, so it kind of smudged, so I just stuck um, a post-it over the top. Um, and what I've also done is I've washed at the bottom, <clears throat> and then underneath I've put the uh, blank stickers. I'm not sure if you can actually... Oh, where's my hand? I'm not sure if you can actually see, but what I've done is I've put the um, blank stickers along the bottom, and I've written in what we, were, what we are planning to have for... Um, dinner that particular night also i have to do this otherwise i can't function is i have to put something here to separate my week from the weekend um a lot of people have had not issues but you know um had trouble getting used to the fact that it start the this calendar starts on a monday and ends on a sunday rather than being sunday monday tuesday etc me personally this is perfect for me. When I visualize things in my mind, it always goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, break, Saturday, Sunday. So for me, this is perfect. Calendars that start at Sunday, I can't even, like, oh, it just drives me crazy because it just messes with my brain. So, yeah. Um, this is for December month. As I said, I don't use the monthly spread, so for the... For November and December, I decided to do this. I do a lot of online ordering, like, almost every day. So I had one for November, and this is the one that, um, what's it called? For December. So on this side, I just did my son's hand. I'm not going to be doing this every month. I just want to do it for November and December. Um, this is next week. What I've done is just normal, you know, same layout, washi, except for that I taped right across because I couldn't be bothered breaking it all up. What I've done here is I've just uh, washied in a post-it note. I just put a bit of washi on the top and a little bit of the bottom so you can't see the seam line. That's why you can't really, you know, see. But um, I've just written my shopping list in there so that when it's shopping day, I can just quickly rip it out and let's go because it's just detachable washi there. I've used uh, the little twin stars this coming week. Uh, again, I have at the bottom the blank labels or stickers, I should say, to put in the meals we're going to be having. I haven't filled that out yet, but of course, it coincides with my shopping list. I inserted this little page um, for notes or whatever. Um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that. And yet again, I have broken up the weekend. Um, and yeah, I just have, these are all the different layouts, you know, you could white out over the words here before you put washi down, especially if you're like me and tend to use transparent style ones. Um, but you know, I just had, uh, it doesn't bother me that much. Um, there's no stickers or anything on these because I don't like to you know, put it too far in advance because uh, me personally, I don't like having a giant sticker. Not that this is a big sticker, but I don't like having a big sticker here if I know something's going to happen that day that I need to write a lot of um, information on. That's just my personal preference. And here I've just used a little flag stamp, which, you know, is old ink. That's why it looks a bit rubbish. This is Christmas week, um, and in these little boxes I've written everyone that we are going to visit in the order. I haven't finished filling this out yet. Um, this is going to be done with Christmas stickers and all of that cute stuff. See, as I said, um, my previous months where I had my child's hand and then the online orders on this side of the month at a glance, I'm not doing that every month. Um... In all honesty, I don't know what I'm going to be using these for because I really don't use the month at a glance. But I'm sure I can stick something in there or find a good use for for it. Um, what I just did was put, you know, my dad's birthday and my two aunties' birthdays. But, you know, it's nothing special. I don't want to decorate it because I don't use it. Uh, this is New Year's, so I've got some little stamps. I haven't really finished some of these, but I just wanted to, you know, give you guys a quick quick view of uh, what I've done thus far. I do have, uh, being that I have been using this for like only a day, but I have come across a few problems. First one being that my Keep It Together pouch has ripped. It was ripped down to about the third coil on both sides, so I've taped it kind of in. Um, 
the other issue I have is my um my clear ruler. It's just being ooh, if I could even get it out. I'm not sure if you guys can see. So let me try to focus this. But the teeth are actually like a few of them are bent, like they're just crazy bent. Which I wouldn't mind, like I don't care as long as it still works, as long as it's still functional. But the issue is it doesn't like want to clip in. It comes out fine, but it doesn't want to go in. Like the top one, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm trying to focus this. The top one will go in fine. It's really hard trying to do this with one hand. I'm really sorry, guys. Um, But the top one goes in fine, and then the others, oh, I can't even do this with one hand. It doesn't even, like, click in. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's probably because I'm trying to do it with one hand, but it's just ridiculous. It, it, I got it, and it's bent, and now it doesn't want to go in. See, it goes in, except there's always this one or two that stick out, and it's just driving me absolutely crazy. So I have to use, like, two hands, and I have to push each individual tooth back in. And I'm not sure why. Usually this top part's fine. There's just one that sticks out. And then the bottom part, there's about three or four that stick out that don't want to go in. Like, can you see? There's just that one that never wants to go in. And then you have to, like, push it in really hard because it's just, like, it's too fat for the coil or something. I do not know. Um, I, I love the ruler, and I really like using it. It's just that that is a small issue that I have. Um... Also, I put my other cover in here, um, first mainly so I didn't lose it, but then I had the idea of instead of putting in a divider, um, I put this in so that I know that that's this month. Like, obviously I have the ruler there to go to the direct week, um, but I know that where the divider is, well, where the other cover is, until I decide to change them over, I'm just going to keep it and move it to each month. Um... This little uh, flag note, or whatever you want to call it, I did just what everyone else does. I um, hole punched it. Um, you guys, if you're in Australia, I had a lot of problems um, finding a... Where is it? I had a lot of problems. Uh, these holes are an eighth of an inch, and everyone who's been doing tutorials and everyone I've spoken to has been using an eighth of an inch hole punch. I could not find an eighth of an inch anywhere. Like, I could find them online, but shipping was ridiculous. So, I ended up finding this one, which is two... It, it's converted into Australian um, oh, measurements. So, this is a two millimeter hole punch. It is slightly smaller than the uh, eighth of an inch, but really, it's not that much smaller. It's large enough that the coil fits in there perfectly. Like, it does slide. It's just being temperamental because I cut the teeth funny. But it fits um, perfectly. So if you're in Australia and you can't find a hole punch that's an eighth of an inch, like me, this is a two millimeter hole punch. I purchased this from Kmart and it was five fifty, I think. Eh, looks like a crocodile. Wait. <laughs> oh my god I've lost it okay but um so that's just a few things that I wanted to show you guys and if you want a tutorial on anything in particular um shoot me a comment all right thanks guys